Mike, thank you. We look forward to more of that at WIAT.com. Meanwhile, state troopers continue to investigate an ATV accident that claimed the lives of a Tus Tuscaloosa County man and his one-year-old daughter. Daniel Gwynn and his daughter both died when their ATV was hit by a truck along Highway 82 in Coker. Authorities tell us this accident serves as a tragic reminder about using all-terrain vehicles safely. With more on that, CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed explains. Authorities tell us in Alabama it is illegal to operate an ATV on a public road. The Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office says there aren't too many laws in Alabama that regulate all-terrain vehicles. Officials tell us basic common sense can save lives. You know, it, it's always a good idea when you're operating an ATV to always be aware of all your surroundings. Um, you know, and if for some reason you have to cross a public roadway, you know, make sure that uh, there are no other vehicles coming in. There are no laws requiring safety equipment, but the Alabama Department of Public Health recommends ATV operators to wear helmets along with suitable clothing. It's also recommended that children never be allowed to ride as passengers on an ATV. And kids should not be allowed to operate an ATV until they are 16 years old. That's awful. I have kids and I couldn't imagine losing any of mine. Coker resident Michelle McLean is heartbroken. She lives close to where the fatal accident happened. Too many accidents keep happening. I don't know if they need to widen the road or put a stop sign, stop light there, but too many tragedies from that spot. Sad and, and disheartening and, and traumatic all at the same time to lose two people uh, who are so very young, a very young child and, and a very young man. The state of Alabama does not require an operator's license or graduation from a safety course prior to operating an ATV. In Tuscaloosa County, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News.